Welcome back. While the holidays are filled with joy and festive parties, it's also a time to be cautious of intoxicated drivers on the roadways. Joining us this morning to discuss these dangers is Trooper Brian Schultz with the South Dakota Highway Patrol. Thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah, thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about um, what it looks like to you when we get towards the holiday season, that increase of drinking and driving? Yeah, obviously you get people, you know, coming home, um, seeing friends and family, stuff like that. So they, people they haven't seen in a while and parties that accompany, you know, get togethers around the Christmas time. A lot of time people might think, you know, I'm at a Christmas party, I only had a couple of drinks, but really might not realize how many drinks they have had. How important is it to just stay on the side of caution and be safe rather than sorry? Yeah, exactly. You know, you can call a Lyft, call an Uber, um, designate a sober driver at the beginning of the night, mm -hmm. just get ahead of the game. And I remember um, back towards Thanksgiving, we, we had talked a little bit about some statistics saying that South Dakota is pretty bad for holiday time drinking and driving. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, since Thanksgiving, there's been um, 12 fatality crashes in our state, which is 12 too many. Mm -hmm. So uh, highway patrols out on the road enforcing speed, impaired driving, um, just trying to keep people safe around the holiday season. Yeah. How important is it for you guys to raise awareness to this as well with a lot of people, you know, traveling sober as well and just traveling to see family, so many people out on the roadways. Yeah, very important. Even without the alcohol or drug impairment, um, higher tr volume of traffic, people are in a hurry to get to where they're going to see family. So the roadway is obviously more dangerous. Um, the more cars that are out on the road. And do you have any advice for maybe you're at a party and you see that a friend or family member has had too much to drink and should not be driving? How do you have that conversation? Yeah, just approach them and tell them, you know, I don't think you're safe to drive and I'd rather you get home safely than, than the other option, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess a lot of times for you, seeing and hearing about those fatalities, you're kind of on the front lines of sometimes responding to those crashes. How disheartening is it that someone could have just gotten a ride or, you know, there's other options out there? Yeah, it's terrible. It's the worst part of the job by far. Um, notifying families and not, not only affects that individual person, but coworkers, friends, other family members, um, by far the worst part of the job. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate you coming in to kind of share and spread awareness about this very important topic. Yeah, thank you.